Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Michael Pena Senior Show. This is episode 74 here on September 12th, 2018. Robert Kowalski said, the only difference between a rich person and a poor person is how they use their time. And, you know, I'm always telling you, about a side hustle, getting out, you know, doing the budget, doing things with your time. That's just going to help you. And it is, it's, it's, it's like another job, like taking care of your money. And, and it's something that I like to do. I like to help my family, my biggest clients. I tell you all the time, I'm my, my, my wife, my son, my daughter, you know, and I help them and I try to help them as much as I can with their own side hustles. But I'm telling you right now, if you don't put time into this, if you don't put time into your budget, you don't put time into thinking about your own money, then I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why you're watching the show, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But, you know, I want to help you. I want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So I'm glad that you're watching. Do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, Tell your friends about it. Hit the bell so you know that when new episodes come out. All right. Um, and also go to podbean.com. I've got some really good content on podbean.com. I'm getting further into investments on that channel. Um, you can find me at the Michael Pena Senior Show at podbean.com. And, and if you want to get and learn more about what I'm doing with my investments and how I study certain investments, go to podbean.com. That's where you'll find that. But this part of the my content that I like to put out is more about the budgeting, staying within the Dave Ramsey steps. And today, we're going to talk about something that you really, if you have an irregular income, you really have to put a lot of time in to make sure that your budget stays on track because that is really something that could be difficult to deal with. Because somebody was asking me, or oh, talking about, you know, and, and again, I hope you're on every dollar. If you're not, you have to have some way to do a budget. If you do it with a spreadsheet, hey, whatever you want to do with your budget and the way that you're comfortable doing it, then do it. But don't forget, it isn't like you just set your budget for the month and then just leave it alone. And then, you know, add things in, you know, put your expenses in after. If you're making more money during the month, you add that in. And with an irregular income, and that just means that you don't know exactly what you're making each week or each month. Um, you've got to continue to add that money in as you're making it. Okay. I have a very irregular income, which I've made predictable. And the reason is, is I've been doing sports. It's part of my sports income. I've been doing sports for over 30 years now. This is actually my 32nd year of officiating sports. So I actually take a five-year average always of what I make. And I can basically predict what I'm going to make for that month. And usually I come a little bit over my average which is good. But if you say you're starting out in sports and you can do that as a living, you can make enough money if you hustle. You, you, you don't know exactly what you're going to be making. If you have that type of job where it's an irregular income, bartending, waiting on tables. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of different things that people do that's an irregular income. What you want to do first is... You don't want to just plug in a number and say, well, this is what I'm going to make and take a guess. No. As the money comes in, you add that to your budget. So in other words, you, you don't want to just say, well, this is what I'm going to make and then budget off of what you're predicting because you don't have that information yet. As you make the money during the week, then you start taking care of your expenditures. Okay, so... The main thing is with an irregular income, you got to take care of your, your four walls first. And that's your um, food, housing, utilities, and clothing. So let's say, you know, 
you've got no idea what you're going to make this week. All of a sudden you make $800 and um, now you got to make sure you take care of food. You put some money away from for your rent or your mortgage, okay? You make sure whatever utility is due that week is paid for. And, you know, hopefully clothing you don't need that week. And then you got to do that the next week and then the next week. And it's imperative that you're doing a budget. Because now as you start making more money, maybe you make 1000 the next week. All of a sudden it goes down to 700 And, you know, I'm just thinking of the top of my head, Amazon Flex, Uber, these types of jobs, that's an irregular income because you don't know exactly what you're going to be making. But you got to work hard to make sure that the first of four walls are taken care of. So you got your mortgage paid for, you got all your utilities paid for, you got food uh, under control. Now you start paying for those other things on your expenses. Each week, each month goes by, it'll be become more of a predictable type of situation. You know exactly how much you'll be able to make, how much you'll be able to go beyond what you, you made the week before. And it becomes a little bit easier. But with any regular income, you've really got to stay up on your budget. And you add the money in as you're making it. And then you get into a situation where if you continue at this job or continue with any regular income, it does become predictable. Because now each month you say, okay, well, last month I took home, you know, $6,000. It should be a predictable situation where you should be, you know, take home 6000 the next month. And hopefully that's what you'll be doing and you'll be going beyond that. Okay. But take care of the four walls first with an irregular income. Then go beyond that. But make sure you stay on your budget. Because without that written budget, without that budget on every dollar, you don't even know what you got coming in. You don't know it's going out. And it can become very difficult. That's what I like about the budget. Because I do, you know, get paid at weird intervals and weird times. So it's easy for me to take care of, easy for me to keep track of when I'm doing my budget. Okay, so you got questions on that, get in touch with me, coachp2210 at yahoo.com. Remember, like my page at Pina Financial Coaching on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. I'm doing my best. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not really that good on Twitter. I don't know. I need, I need a coach, I think, myself with uh, social media. If you want to be that coach for me, get in touch with me. I can help you. You can help me. You know, we can barter. We can go back to the old money system of bartering. Okay. Um, and for you people out there, my uh, Mount Ida community, you know, watch Nichols College football if you can't get to the game. We had a great crowd of, of Mount Ida people. Uh, Heather and her husband were, were at the game, and uh, Tom B. was watching at home. And you can watch Nichols football. Go, on, go to Nichols College Athletics. Go to Nichols College football schedule. And just click on to the watch. And you can watch Michael Pina Jr., our Mount Ida quarterback who is now starring at quarterback for Nichols play Coast Guard Academy this Friday night, September 14th at 7 p.m. So if you're in watching TV, take a look at Michael Pena Jr. and the Nichols College football team playing Coast Guard Academy. It's getting fun. It's getting exciting. Take a look at that. And it was fun. You know, Tom B was texting me and uh, I got Heather David next to me, you know, and I've got a, we got a great crowd there. You know, we had a great crowd from Mount Ida there. And, you know, it's still a sad situation what happened to Mount Ida, but it's happy to, for me to see people go on and handle that situation, especially my son who has, you know, has gotten punched in the gut and has found success going forward and that's what we need to do no matter where you are you know it's what you do with your time don't stay down don't be a poor person okay because there could be many ways that you could be poor not just in finances get up off the ground do the right thing with your time and let's become rich because you know what i want to win i want to help you win 
let's win this thing together.